Okay, so when I get behind you, if, you know, if you ever see me kind of going back and forth here with the camera, it's like I can't find my place. I'm always trying to get the camera going the same place as the shoulders are pointing. So that helps uh, me line you up because I want to see. Well, you got to have the proper um, camera angles to get proper feedback. So. Alright, so let's see how that club's coming back here, first swing. That's good, huh? Not better. Right on, man. A little out, a little out and over, huh? Mm -hmm. Kind of see it. You kind of fix it with a see how shaft, see how steep your shaft gets. We'll see this on the driver too. So that's not necessarily big picture of fix, but see where your arms are. See where the shaft is now compared to where it gets the impact. So that's not an uncommon thing. We always see a little bit of that, even with good players, but. Uh, if you get a lot of it, it can get on the heel. It can get on the toe, too, if they really bring it down and in. So, I don't like we're going to do anything about that. That's just kind of... That's good. That's a great takeaway there. Not that many takes. confident now. Come on a little bit. A little bit or a lot? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that have anything? Does that increase our chances of hitting on the heel? It has to. Well, unless you reroute it beautifully. So that's coming out a lot more than the wedge, certainly. Now, by the time you get it back here we're in the hands position, we've been checking though. It's a little bit better. Much better. From the old days? You kidding me? That thing was back. That was there. like back here. <laughs> That's good. Remember, you got a long club, flatter plane. You know, you're dealing with, and you, you know. Our engine's working a little bit different up here too with the driver, isn't it? Yeah. Like, got a little more speed. You can tell with that takeaway. It's like, oh, here's the driver. So it's a different mentality. Whoopsie. <laughs> we need now. You gotta have some good timing, and when you got good timing, none of that matters. Right hand plane coming down looks good. Right hand plane. A little over, isn't it? Just a touch. Just a little bit, a little bit on the heel there. What? This is the first ones where just kind of little little baby pulls with cuts on them. Mm -hmm. if you remember right? So I 
Uh, you know, the other thing to remember too is you've got a what are those, 45 and a half inches now? I think, yeah, I think mine's either 44 or 45. Well, which whatever the standard Titleist is. Well, it's long, it's been forever since they were 44s. So you're wheeling a pretty long stick around that short frame of yours. So yeah, mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. You're, you're more you see that a lot, that hit a lot, we'd say, well, let's take a half an inch off that driver, it isn't going to hurt you as much as you think. Mm -hmm. or, you know, choke down on it a little bit, see what see what happens. Setup looks good. Yeah, it really looks a lot better than, a lot less hunch over yeah. than last time. Yeah, it's feeling good. Too late. <laughs> So the revisit was kind of on the get those two sticks on the ground. You you know your motor works fast on your takeaway. Yep. And that's not necessarily um, worth trying to fix because that's just kind of what you are. But I always say, when you're practicing, work on the hard stuff. So, if you watch that thing come back a little slower, you kind of it kind of tells you where it's at. Mm -hmm. You don't need another set of eyes to tell you something that when you're watching. You gotta just be pretty good from there to time that, don't you? I mean, we know the club's crossing the line a little bit and it's a little long. So, you know, one thing I would tell you to work on there would be to just say, I gotta, I gotta turn my bot, my upper body less. Okay. Sounds kind of funny, but. Do you have a Phil Mickelson swing on here? Uh, old one. Really old. It's a face on driver. I think they're pretty similar. I just kind of wanted to see how far back you uh, Let's see what I got here. Well, I just got him down the line on something, I think. This chain, his swing's just so much different now than it used to be. But that, you know, that's a big old upper body turn, which is great. And you're working against a lower body resistance. That all looks pretty good. So down the road, it would be kind of like, all right, let's keep that arm from doing that and just think in terms of out. Yeah. So out, you need, some, you need more width there. That's why you get so steep coming down sometimes. Okay. Um, but it's all about resistance, I think. And, and my general advice to players who, who are what we would call narrow, right? You know, to widen that out, you've just got to have uh, a thinking of a radius that's out here. There's your radius with your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now it's back. It's not around. So if you get you get yourself stretched out more over there, the club can't can't dip and it can't cross the line. But you know you're you can play with that as long as you play a lot. Timing things, right? Mm -hmm. 
and you make good corrections, you're hitting your driver good. You uncoil nicely. That's a very solid impact there. It's good. It's a good motion. Everything lines up again, right? Pretty, pretty interesting what it takes to get to that point <laughs> from the top of the swing. Yeah. So you're good at uncoiling everything. If you weren't, you'd just slide right ahead of it and the club would stay open all the time. So, so you know, we're all got our own little swing DNAs, right? So I'm not going to get overly mechanical about it, but yeah, I would think it would be a good idea for you to say, all right, for me to hit more fairways, I probably can't be that long. You know, I'm playing tight courses and my instincts of a wind up to create speed, you know, or, you know, I was weaned on trying to hit the ball further because I'm, I'm not that big, you know, so my, my instincts are wind up to get speed. So those are tough things to counter what your instincts are. But I think you're looking good.